All right, hello everyone and welcome to 2021 opening day. We're gonna get things started off with the national anthem. Maya Becker's here. And after that, we'll do an opening prayer and then we'll introduce the board and go from there. So here's Maya Becker with the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that a flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet Amazing. Thank you very much, Maya. Thank you. Next up, we have Pastor Bill Stewart to give a little opening prayer. Well, good morning, everybody. Good early afternoon. Thank you for the honor. Let's approach Almighty God with a blessing for this season, shall we? Wonderful, merciful, heavenly Father, we come before you thankful that you are a giver of all good things. Lord, we see it in the beautiful sunshine and there's crisp, fresh air that we breathe. Lord, and we thank you. We're standing in the shadow of the red, white, and blue that's flying in the air and reminders here of men and women who've paid the ultimate price, Lord, and we thank you for these gracious gifts. And because of your nature as a giver lord we ask your blessing on this season and we ask it in two specific areas first is for safety lord we pray that you would be with us from the first pitch to the last ball thrown in this season that you would bring safety upon the players and coaches on the officials and the friends and family who are gathered lord we know that bumps and bruises are part of the game but we ask that it would be free of injuries for all considered. And Lord, we also ask that you would bless this season with sportsmanship. That the humility of Christ would be in all of our hearts when the plays aren't called exactly as we think they should be, or maybe the lineup isn't stacked the way we feel that it should be, that we would approach it all with the love of Jesus, with love for our fellow man, and with joy in our hearts for this beautiful game that we have the freedom to play. Amen. Father, we love you. We commit this season to you. We ask that you would use it to bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, now I'm going to announce the Little League board. I'll try to keep this uh, short and sweet. First of all, I'm Matt Karras. I'm honored to be your president here. Woo! Maybe by default, but... The board is the single most important part of the league. They do 99% of the work. I just stand out here and talk. Without them, this league wouldn't go on. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have beautiful green grass. We wouldn't have the concession stand running. The teams wouldn't be organized. Uniforms wouldn't be ordered. So if you see them out and about, please thank them. They do more than you realize, more than I realize, and without them, we wouldn't be here today. So I'll start with Libby Cody, our VP of softball, our president of softball, as I like to call her. This is mine and Libby's kind of first year at the helm. We've been working through things together, and uh, we've come a long way, I think. 
So I'm honored to have Libby as, a, as our softball head. Any issues, she solves them right away. Anything I need done, she does them right away. She's also in charge of our website and in any information that gets out. So she doesn't just do softball, she's your information director too. Thank her, this isn't an easy job. And as softball and baseball work together as one in the coming years, we're gonna be a good team. So thank Libby. Next up is our VP of Baseball, Matt Disarath. Where is Matt at? He's over the field house. He's hiding. Now Matt uh, has uh, been a good friend of mine for a long time. Uh, without Matt, I don't know if baseball program would be nearly as good as it is. Obviously there's a lot of people to thank for as good as the St. Clair baseball program is. But Matt, for me, is number one. He's put his heart and soul into the Little League program and that is just gone all the way up to the high school program. We have one of the best programs in the state. We're very fortunate to have great programs in both baseball and softball from Little League all the way to high school. And people like Matt Disraff and Ron Cook are a great reason why. They're just great people who donate all their time. We have 10 divisions. Matt organizes seven of them. I always call him my, the president. He's the real president. I'm just here giving a speech. But without Matt Disraff, a lot of this wouldn't happen. So thank him, even if you might not like your schedule, he's got to do it for 40 teams, and he does it with a smile, at least, to me. So, Matt Disraff, wherever he is, thank him. He's a great part of this program. And if you need to buy a car, see him at St. Clair Chrysler. New to, new to the board this year is Dennis DeLore. Where's Dennis? Somewhere. Come on up, guys. This is our secretary. He's always asking for me things that he can do, help out with. He gets us organized for our meetings. He keeps me on task, on point. I don't give him enough information beforehand, but he does the best he can do with uh, the little information I give him. So, as you see, the board members are also coaches, so the double job. So, thank you, Dennis. Jody Randall, where are you? Come on up. This is, the, this is the lady that organized the parade. This is why we're all here. All right, she, uh, I gave her a list of things to do on uh, Monday or Tuesday, and she got them done by the afternoon. Everything that I forgot to do, she took care of it. She's also our treasurer. And the last treasurer was terrible. She stepped up. She's doing a great job. So she's just not the treasurer for me. She's the person I go to if I need an extra hand. She put together the parade. She's always there when we need, and she keeps a tight financial book. So we thank you. <laughs> Jeff Koss, our safety director. Where's Jeff? And Matt, I see you over there. Come on up. Jeff, where are you at? All right, he might be with his team. Jeff is our safety uh, director. He's got the, he's the one that got all the, the fire department, he got, or the police department lined up. He's the one that's uh, gonna stock our safety uh, bags. Go to him with any problems that you have safety-wise. We'll try to get taken care of. Again, he's another volunteer that coaches, also does the safety. I go to him with anything that I might need, and he does it right away. Jeff, where are you at? He's coming up, all right. So let's give Jeff a round of applause. Jeremiah Becker, he is our uh, player agent, which is uh, nobody knows what a player agent does until it's all-star time. But Jeremiah took on the task. He wanted to get the girls' uniforms better this year. And as, uh, as I, well, I can see, they look pretty great, Jeremiah. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff just showed up. <laughs> Jeremiah is another volunteer. He's out here. He's donating his time. He's trying to get the girls' program better uniforms than they did. The player agent is everyone who gets the, all the information done at All-Star Time. All-Star Time is his busy season, so we thank you, Jeremiah.
Trish Roberts is in the concession stand. Right here. Oh, where's she? Oh, she's right here. All right, come on up. Why aren't you in the concession stand? Leah. Okay, Leah's there. Okay, good. So Trish has one of the two worst jobs that we have on uh, on the board. She takes care of the concession stand. She was here ten hours yesterday. At least she probably put in forty hours, and she literally has another job. But she gives all of her extra time to make sure the concession stand is clean, stocked, and ready to go. It's uh, volunteers like her that we have a big concession stand and it's uh, always, always ready to go. She donates probably 40 hours a week of extra time that no one else has, not even her, but we thank you, Trish. Without you, it'd, it'd be nothing. <laughs> Next up might be the worst job that we have is Christian Farkas. He is the head of the umpires. He's one man that only hears complaints and no thank yous. But he had about 40 kids out here yesterday, all with uh, Dale Kaufman getting umpire instructions. I think we're looking good for this year. So when you complain, complain to that guy right there. <laughs> but also thank him. He's the reason you guys have umpires. We should be good for the year. Maybe. We'll be all right. So thank you, Christian, for a lot of time and effort in throughout the season. Thank you. Next up, part of our duo for our equipment manager, Steve Vaselli. <laughs> Steve, is, uh, Steve is tasked with getting your bags in order, all your equipment. We have a ton of equipment. If you need anything, don't complain about it. Come see us. We'll get you a new equipment if you need it. We'll find it upstairs or we'll buy you new stuff. Steve's tasked with getting all the bags organized, all that fun stuff, and then I ask him to do about 20 other things throughout the year. So thank you, Steve. Next up is the second half of our equipment duo, but this guy's also Steve Freeland's assistant, I think. John Terrell. John, come on up. As you see, John is also a coach. He puts in countless hours out here. Steve kind of takes care of the fields. Everything around the surrounding areas, John, is, John and his wife have taken care of. The flower beds have never looked better. The weeds around the post have never looked better. The grounds overall have never been better. John does equipment and he's out here doing a lot of extra work on the fields. So thank you, John. I uh, saved this guy for last because he might get fired from his other job because he's here too often. <laughs> Steve Freeland is a reason this park looks as beautiful as it does, and it looks amazing. We don't see any dandelions on the field. There's very little in the common areas. The grass is green. Everything is cut. Everything is weed whacked. Everything is, the fields look amazing. The best they've looked in probably 10 years, maybe more. And Steve is here hours a day that I'm not here, that no one else is here. And he's working hard on the fields, all for you guys. And without him, there'd be a lot more dandelions, a lot more weeds, and the grass would not be nearly as green. So Steve, thank you. Coach Jenny White's not here today. He is the varsity baseball coach. We are lucky enough to have him on our board. No other Little League is probably lucky enough to have the varsity baseball coach on their board. Kevin Mond, the varsity softball coach, is always there for our help too. And with that relationship between the Little League and high school baseball and softball, it's very important to us. So thank those two guys. I'll try to hurry it up. We got some non-board members I need to thank. Jamie Conlin. He's here, he put a new home plate on field one that it, everyone's been asking about. He got the paint markers all done, every, the lines all feel, uh, marked. He does a lot of things behind the scenes that we ask him to do and he gets them done. Thank Kermoran has put a lot of time into the field house as you know, might have noticed. 
He has not to be thanked, but thank you, Kurt, for all the work, extra work you've done. The Schaefers, Jason and Charlotte, they like to call me with problems, but they fix the problems they call me with. He's always out here, the extra, he jumps on the lawnmower during practice, cuts the grass. Charlotte's always out here cutting the grass too when we need them. They're the little league parents that we like to have. They see an issue and they solve it. So thank you, Schaefers. We'd like to also thank Andy Gilroy. He fertilized all the fields that make them uh, dandelionless. So we thank him for coming out and donating his time. It takes him how long? How long did it take him? It took him probably five, six hours to do all the fields. He donated all of his time and he got it done. So thank you. Ken Parlard is always out here. Last night I was out here, I seen some, uh, some things that need to be uh, weed whacked. He was out here, told him, he got it done. He's always first out here on a lawnmower, cutting the grass, making it look beautiful, volunteering, anything I need him to do. And at the moment's notice, thank you, Ken. We have a new pavilion out there in my field, uh, seven and nine. I call it the pyramid. The trusses were donated, and Keyway, you might see their yellow trucks driving around. They donated, donated their whole Saturday. A bunch of those guys came out and got that up. Without them, that wouldn't be up right now, and we're gonna have the, we're gonna have the sidewalk extend all the way out there to field nine, probably at the end of this year. So we're gonna finish that up. So thank you, Keyway, for coming out. Also, we gotta thank the police department, the fire department, the American Legion for coming out. Again, it's special to have you guys come out for the service you did for our country and providing the flags for us. It's a great tradition we have, so thank you. Uh, not lastly, I uh, want to thank my wife, because, uh, you know, when I get a complaint, she gets a complaint from me. She's got to deal with me a lot during the nights. She does it with a big smile. She's uh, given up a lot, so I could be here and be your president. Also, uh, um, my dad, I don't know where I'd be without him. It certainly wouldn't be here in front of you guys. He's donated a lot of time throughout the years to St. Clair Little League. And I just want to thank him for everything he's done for me and for this league. Thank you. Yeah. I've got a few, this is our last couple, I swear. I got a few <laughs> mentors, obviously my father, Tom Foley, who couldn't be here today. He was our league president before. This man, Jamie Haslam. Jamie isn't fully retired, he's our district administrator. He's also my soundboard. He's also, I like to complain to him a lot too. Jamie Haslam did a lot for this league. He got five built. He finished the rest of the fields. The league was financially in a little bit of strain when, we, when he took over. He started our fall ball league that got us going. Without Jamie, the St. Clair Little League was probably heading in the wrong direction. He got us the ship righted. He did a lot for this league, donated hours and hours. I have one funny story about Jamie Haslam. <laughs> My boss at work one time asked me, does your president have a real job? I said, yes, he's a, he's a vice president at Weeks Meet in, in Richmond. She's like, well, Croslex doesn't think he has a real job, that all he does is the St. Clair Little League president. So that's how much time he's given up for us for the community, and I just want to thank him. Without Jamie, I don't think I'd be the president either. So Jamie, where are you at? Come on, Jamie, come on up. Big round of applause for Jamie Haslam, please. We'll be here another hour if he takes the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pass the mic.
To our uh, president of softball, Libby, Libby Cody, we're going to introduce our grand marshals. They were the state champs two years ago, nine and ten-year-old girls. We won four state titles, including theirs. They're the first age group below 12 to win a state title in St. Clair Little League history. It's a huge accomplishment. Not easily done. Maybe one day we'll get them up on the sign when you're entering town. Well, here's Libby Cody. All right, team, why don't you guys come on up here? Come on up over here, please. So this is the 10U softball team from the 2019 state champs. They're sporting their shirts today. on this side. So it looks like most of the girls are here, not everybody, but um, this was a pretty impressive team. Um, this 10U this, uh, team dominated every game in districts and the state tournament. The team only gave up seven runs over 10 games and were never losing at any point during districts and states. Every member of the team contrib contributed in a big way back in 2019 and all the girls continue to play 12U softball today. Um, and the team is led by Ron Cook. After 47 years of his leadership, the girls were excited to get him his first state championship. Also coaching is uh, Phil Russell and Nate Larch. So girls, you can just step up or wave when I call your name. Number one, Liliana Martin played outfield. Number two, Addison Oles played second base. Number three, Sylvie Larch played first base. Number six, Mackenzie Martin played outfield. Number seven, Julia Rancilio was a catcher. Number 11, Sophie Russell played shortstop. Number 12, Jordan Jones played third. Number 14, Briley Heasty, outfield. Number 18, Maddie Treat played left field. Number 21, Delaney McDonald, outfield. Number 30, Gracie Picklehop was a pitcher. Number 77, Eleni Petsalis played right field. And number 99, Emma Becker, center field. So we're glad we finally had the opportunity to recognize this team. Girls, you did a great job. And thanks for bringing that title to St. Clair. All right, just a few more things here. We have uh, the Little League Pledge. <clears throat> Sylvie yeah. and Hunter Freeland are gonna do the Little League Pledge. Sylvie Larch. We're gonna say a line and then you're gonna repeat it. I trust in God. I love my country and will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win. But win or lose, I will always do my best. Thank you very much. Our player agent, Jeremiah Becker, is going to do the parent pledge. So follow along, please, and repeat after him. All right, everybody. I will teach all children to play fair and do their best. I will positively support all managers, coaches, and players. I will respect the decisions of the umpires. I will praise a good effort despite the outcome of the game. Thank you.
All right, now we're gonna uh, now we're gonna do the first pitch. Ron Cook, uh, you sure you don't want to do it? <laughs> Gracie Picklehop is gonna be throwing the first pitch today, and she's gonna be pitching to Jay Rancilio. We're gonna be out on field two. Yeah. 